On a 404A freezer, the evaporator has a temperature of 18F degree and the sight glass is partially full. I can see a stream of refrigerant at the bottom of the sight glass. The condenser temperature is 96F degree on a 62F degree day. And this is a TXV system. Half of the evaporator has ice build up and it started from the TXV. Is it under charge? I'm concerning the suction pressure is going higher and higher when I charge it more. The box temperature is 28 F degree, need to go to 0 to 10 F degree. Hello. My name is I'll be helping you with your appliance question today. Please wait a few moments while I review your question. So yes, you are undercharged or your compressor is inefficient. Those are the only two possibilities. The condenser should be a bit warmer which is likely due to the compressor not working as hard as it should due to low Freon. You will need to add more Freon until the entire evaporator frosts over from left to right. If you add Freon and the evaporator doesn't frost over completely and you still only get a half frost pattern, that means you need a new compressor. We are on the honor system here. If you need anything else, just let me know. You can continue asking follow-up questions at no additional charge after rating my service if you still need assistance. What should the evaporator pressure be for a 404A freezer? 200 pounds per square inch on the high side and 55 pounds per square inch on the low side for proper pressures. Most likely you're probably down to around 45 or so on the low side based on that frost pattern you have. But the head pressure is at 223 pounds per square inch on a 62 F day and the suction is 18 pounds per square inch. Yes, so the high side isn't usually measured and 200 pounds per square inch is just a rough number. It can be up to 300 pounds per square inch and be fine. The fact that the low side is 18 pounds per square inch means you're low on Freon. As I mentioned it should be around 55 pounds per square inch. The low side needs to be exact. Why the suction sigh is so high to be 55 pounds per square inch, when the freezer need to cool down to 0 to 10 F? That's what pressure 404A needs to run, I'm not sure why there is any confusion. My bad, I'm kinda new to the refrigeration side, so I didn't know the magic number. That's alright. Our 134A runs at 0 pounds per square inch on the low side and 404A runs at 55 pounds per square inch. Doesn't matter what machine you have, that's the pressure they should be running it to optimize the refrigerant. How about a 404A cooler? What is the suction operating pressure? Same thing. Again it doesn't matter what machine it's on, it only matters what refrigerant is being used, 55 pounds per square inch. No different sigh on a freezer or cooler. I thought a freezer need to run a lower evaporator temperature. No different. The only difference is the thermostat. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.